Today's video is um, how to create the top, the mouth of your bottle in pencil. In preparation for our drawing project, which is going to be a bottle and shell and colored pencil. So, check it out. This is what the bottle top looks like. Okay? We are going to learn today about something called foreshortening. Foreshortening is where the magic happens. Foreshortening is that ability to draw something where the parts of your drawing are, that are closer to you are larger, parts of your drawing that are further away from you are smaller, and it gives this amazing illusion of depth. So you're going to learn today how to create this, um, the thickness of the glass and the um, illusion that this has a three-dimensional value where the back part of the bottle is smaller than the front part of the bottle. So, let's start. I'm going to take this same bottle, set it up in front of me, and I'm going to draw the ellipse at the top of the bottle from my point of view. I'm going to draw the outside ellipse first. And it's something like this. Ellipses are tough to do, so what you might want to do is you might want to hold your paper, so the corner of your paper lines out up straight with your desk. My camera is what's crooked, not my drawing, so I'm just straightening my camera a little bit. There we go. And we want to get in the practice of drawing some ellipses. Um, a poor ellipse looks like this. Sad. Very sad ellipse. So you want to practice your ellipses so that the corners are tighter than the center, and the center is wider than the corners, okay? You also want to make sure that your ellipse doesn't look like a cat eye, like that. Not good. So, your ellipse should be smooth, you should hold your pencil like a conductor, and the top of the mouth of your bottle is a cylinder. Now I'm going to show the thickness of the glass. So how do I do that? This is the most difficult part, in my opinion, in drawing a bottle. You might even want to draw your bottle mouth practice a little bit larger or a lot larger than your actual bottle. Drawing the thickness of the glass, so the back part, the back thickness is narrower than the front, or the back width between your inside ellipse and your outside ellipse is wider. That creates, that's what creates the illusion of the thickness of the glass and foreshortening. Super cool. Next thing you want to do is create an ellipse that represents the bottom of the cylinder. This big ellipse should be the same as this big ellipse. Just like that. I'm glad we all know how to draw cylinders in here. The side lines of your cylinder, this line and this line, should be parallel with the sides of your page. Now some of us have a further challenge, and that challenge is to create a band around the mouth. See how there's like um, a little, there's an added band here with two ridges. This is another lips drawn on top of our original lips, and it's wider. So I'm going to do that right here. If you have threading, like where on your wine bottle it was probably screw cap, I'm actually trying to weed those out and get rid of those because a screw cap, like that threading, is really hard to draw. Feel free to just forget about the threading and draw a straight cylinder kind of like this. Because the threading is just difficult to add. It's so thin. It's hard to add colored pencil to in the end. So um, I don't want you to give any give you any challenges that's not going to help the overall look of your bottle. I'm going to draw that collar on here now that represents the wider area of glass. I'm going to start by making two lines that are parallel to the sides of the mouth of the bottle. And then, right on top, I'm going to create this ellipse. 
This is where the magic happens, folks. Check it out. I have right here um, an edge or a lip that shows, since I can see the top of the mouth of my bottle, it shows um, the thickness of that collar that goes around my bottle. Other thing I want to make sure, check this out. This is a curve. This is the same curve. This is the same curve. Same curve, same curve, same curve. Although these ellipses are different sizes, they're all curved the same way. They're just different sizes. So how will you draw a mouth of a bottle is actually going to be on your final assessment. So I'll, I'll be looking for foreshortening and I'll be looking for believability and the thickness of the glass. The neck of the bottle will just come straight down like that underneath. And thanks for listening. <laughs>